Hello, ladies, gentlemen, and others. This is the Mad Hatter here, and this is Mercenary Kings. I've been kind of aching to get back to this one, to be entirely honest. Which is a far cry from how I'm feeling about Ghost. Also, the gun on the left, just, hmm, fabulous. So, when we last left off, we opened up a new area. Yeah, if you're not slow as shit like I am, you can open up new areas pretty quickly. Also, I got a little addition to my gun. It was basically just a straight upgrade, so I had no real reason not to do it. I do think it has a slight... Yeah, it also increases the reload speed, I believe. Somehow. It's also lighter. So, you know. It also does more damage. So, even better. Missions. Corporal. Yep. I do still need to go through private and do things like the fashion district and the bridge failure. If you want, I, I'll do them on camera, but if not, then I won't. It's just gathering missions, it's just basically me running around killing things until I get enough shit. Sabotage mission. Scraper, skyscraper A17, we need to cross East Outpost, planting C4 on in their fuel reserve. Should do the trick, okay. Which means I need C4. I don't need shock bombs. So, when we last left off, we opened up a new area. Oh, and I do believe... Let's see... Yep, lukewarm. Which means cryogenic stuff does less damage. And I learned from last episode, for the love of God, outfit yourself before the mission. Because outside of the tutorial, it's not gonna hold your hand for that shit anymore. It's been a bit since I played. Specifically a day. So not so much a bit as just a little while. I don't really need the leather. Do I want to go here or over there? Hmm. I do know there are some areas that specifically make it impossible without going through a building. Not sure if this is one of those maps. I really hope it's not, but it might be. Jesus, the bullet velocity on this is ridiculous. I'm already taking too much damage. Let's see. Please pass, thank you. Mission should be fairly simple. Emphasis on should be. Three, four, five, six. That's the issue with bringing a six shooter, my friend. As well as getting panicked and shooting all of the shots at once. This is actually a surprisingly quick mission. Okay, so if I unload into one of them, they should die. I do drop polymers, though. Which I might need in the future. I do know I need, like, chromium or whatever the fuck it was called. Just a shitload of that. Just give me all of it. Is it in here? No, okay. By the way, similar to the elevators and ghosts, just use the arrow, just use the up and down keys to control these elevators. You motherfucker. Phosphorus, phosphorus. Fuck, I stood back up. Thankfully, the thingy is right here. So I don't really have very far to go. Uh, 
Let's see. Just need to get over there. Wait for it. Okay. Hooray! That was a pretty quick mission. Steel phosphorus. Guys, Skyscraper A17 is no joke. It's equipped with Omega level security protocols. Jesus Christ. Security is too tight on the ground, you'll have to zip line through the fog and enter the building from the top. Scans show huge vault doors in there. So I so I'd visit Golden Gate and pick up some C4 if I were you guys. Miss Zero will mark the location of my old quarters on the map. You'll find the top secret Mandrake document there. You must destroy it. What's in it? The missing part of the Mandrake formula. It's what made it potent enough to save the kings. The Indian algorithm. The key to the genetic design mastery itself. We can't let that bearded baboon baron get the information. Kings! More chopping and prepare to raid the skyscraper. Marr. Marr. Yep, as she stated... We need some C4. Fortunately, you can only have one at a time. I'll probably need to be calling in more. Elevator addiction. What do we even do? Oh, you only need to do... Find a research report kept in her room at Skyscraper A17 before. Okay. Crystal Prison. This is a rescue mission. This is a rendezvous mission. This is a gathering mission. Got captured, but one, but one of their... Yeah. One resistance member. Words. I'm trying to speak too quickly, which is why I stumble over my words. Oh wait, no. I need to cook. Let's see, bone and papaya. Coding. What does that do? I am learning with you. Decreases electric damage. Okay. It seems that so far all of the cooking bonuses have been defensives of some sort. Which is nice. Don't get me wrong. It's just I'm kind of like hoping I get a melee up or something in the future. Damn. That's a skyscraper? That, that, most of it's underground. What the shit? Oh. Oh. Well then. Got a bit of a ways to go. I don't actually know the enemies that are in here. So we need to go left for the- oh shit! Aluminum of course, steel. It'll be quicker if I just go down here. Jump in there. Whee. Ow. Hopefully this thing, those things drop chromium. Yeah, unfortunately, you only get a limited range. Go. Where do I need to go? All the way back up to the top. That is annoying as shit. Whee! Uh, most of this mission is going to be spent waiting for fucking elevators. Fucking elevators. Fuck you. That's, that's what rubber looks like, okay. I Again, I've literally never gotten to this point. A 
Although I can tell we're going to be spending a lot of time in this zone. Kind of surprised we're seeing so many Griff Guards here. Blue Bell's room. There we go. Gathering mission's not too bad. I don't know why it, gave, it might have given us so much time so that we could farm or go a weird route, maybe. Rusty bolt. I do know I needed rusty bolts for stuff. Nothing for that? Really? Hmm. However, it hasn't really been very long. Let's see. Can I get the one that I want yet? Need more rubber and a blitzhound fang. Which means something tells me it's going to slowly start transitioning into needing to gather a rendezvous mission, a rescue mission. Rescue eight hostages. The top floors of the skyscraper A17. You might need C4 to release them. It's I'm thankful that it's telling me this. Is defecting find him before Claude does. Okay. And cook. I should really get into the habit of cooking every time. However, it looks like I just got HP info with that one. I might batch record this because I am enjoying it like, a lot more than I normally enjoy Ghost. And I addressed it in today's episode of Ghost. I'm not, like, feeling it as much as I thought I would at the beginning. And yeah, it would be a shame to cut off, you know, the most successful series I have in that it gets an average of one view. Whereas this one is literally just me talking to myself for all intents and purposes. Motherfucker! Whereas this one is literally just me talking to myself for all intents and purposes. Okay, I really need to farm those track plates. For that extra armor. Do note, I don't think extra armor actually makes you take less damage. I think it just... You douche. I think it just makes you have more HP. Hmm. Glass and polymer. I was stuck in the animation. You cunts. Where am I going, anyway? Over there? Okay. I have to go in through the top or the bottom. I can go in through the top, but it'd be quicker to go in through the bottom. Hooray! Get shanked in the face. Or not even the face, just the knife. I've said this before, but you could actually shank them in the knife. I'm doing a very strange thing and kind of wishing I had a faster reload. Oh, you little shit waffle. And I need to go down here. Those guys are kind of fucked from a range. I actually have the, about the same range as your spearmen. Need to check what enemies actually drop 
things like um, things like chromium and such because I do know I'm going to need a lot of chromium just from looking at all of the shit that chromium builds into. I do love this reload speed though. Now that time I actually shot him in the face with a fucking trumpet. Kill nine brass. They're specifically called brass snails. Okay. The trench club does one shot them though. So you know, there's that. Let's see. My hand was one over. I really need to like start playing better. Cause uh yeah. With the speed mod equipped, you take a lot more damage. Let's see. Okay, so I can kind of ignore him. Hooray! Lithium and... Claw made me work on new elemental weapons. I didn't want to. Yeah, people will, like, commit treason for much less than you might expect. You know, normally he'd probably be executed for, you know, treason, but... Eh. Because to be fair, Claw is the governing body of this island as of currently. And yes, it's a dictatorial rule. However, that does not necessarily mean it's evil. Dudes, iron sights and ice peep the schematics you found. Those claw goons ain't messing around. They're building. Choppy intervenes. Come on, Choppy. Tone down the language. You gotta excuse excuse Choppy's salty language, guys. The guy's just steamed because Claw has been using us as target practice. Not just any regular lead, but some serious fireballs and lightning coming from down there. Real frightening stuff. Cursing and chopper. Cool your rotor chops. I'll be right there to patch you up. To patch up your scorched hide. So yeah, like I said, Claw is crafting badder, meaner guns with elemental mods. Weapons with chemical payloads, electrical beams. Claw's troops are getting real dangerous with these guns. No shit. But that's no problem because so are we. Yeah, no shit. Specifically caustic. Because so good. I could probably fit in one more. I'm, I'm just quite literally aching to play this game for whatever reason. Eh, I've actually batch record this as was discussed. So, for now... This has been the Mad Hatter, and this has been the Mercenary Kings. I wish you a goodbye and a good day. See you next time.